Los Angeles, California. The second most populous city in the United States, Los Angeles is world famous for Hollywood, its sunny weather, beaches, and food scene. Many people wonder why LA is so big, and perhaps assume it's all because of the entertainment industry. But the fact of the matter is, oil has played a huge role in Los Angeles' history and development. Located in a sedimentary basin shaped by the regional tectonics of the area known as the Los Angeles Basin, Tinseltown sits atop a gold mine of oil and natural gas. At one point in the 1920s, Los Angeles County produced over a quarter of the entire world's oil supply, attracting millions of people from all around the world to the City of Angels with the hopes of striking it rich in the industry of black gold. Formed by the remains of dead organisms that have been heated and pressurized in the earth to a sufficient degree, oil is considered a non-renewable resource, meaning it is extracted faster than it is replenished by natural processes. It's utilized extensively in pretty much every industry there is, especially in the automotive, manufacturing, energy, and construction industries. Almost every common household item you interact with on a daily basis contains petroleum, as you cannot make plastic without it, and we all know that plastic is in pretty much everything nowadays. All in all, over 9 billion barrels of oil have been extracted from oil wells around the city, making the Los Angeles Basin one of the most productive oil fields in the world, as well as the richest basin in the world in terms of hydrocarbons per volume. That's cool and all, but a pertinent question remains. Why does Los Angeles have so much oil? In this episode of Solomon's Outdoor Adventures, we're going to answer that and more as we discuss the geology of Los Angeles's world-class oil fields. Let's do it. Having existed in its modern form for the last 17.4 million years, the Los Angeles Basin has spent much of its time underneath the ocean, in both shallow and deep marine environments. As such, many marine organisms have lived and died here, their remains falling to the seabed as they perished. The Los Angeles Basin has been tectonically active for its entire existence, with faults cutting it up and building mountain ranges like the San Gabriel Mountains. With such fast rates of uplift, these mountains have rates of erosion that are equally as fast. As such, sediments are quick to accumulate and bury sedimentary layers rich with marine organism remains. As these marine organism remains get buried so quickly, they're subjected to high temperatures and pressures, buried by as much as 30,000 feet of sediments. These temperatures and pressures at depth are sufficient to transform their remains into oil and natural gas. Rinse and repeat this for 17 million years, and you get the richest basin in the world in terms of hydrocarbons per volume of sedimentary fill. The high rate of regional erosion is not the only factor that favors oil deposition in the Los Angeles Basin. Two other key aspects combine to form the perfect storm of black gold in the City of Angels. First, the Los Angeles Basin is incredibly rich with very well-saturated oil sands. Oil sands are a specific type of sediment characterized by a mixture of loose sand, clay, and water. They are highly saturated with bitumen, an organic hydrocarbon that is key in forming petroleum. Not only does the LA Basin have rich oil sands, the layers of oil sands are thick AF. We're talking thousands of feet thick. To cap this first point, we've got thousands of feet of highly saturated oil sands. Speaking of capping, which I'm not right now, we also need caps of non-porous sedimentary rocks to trap the oil and natural gas. That's where our second key ingredient in LA's oil comes in, anticlines. In structural geology, an anticline is a roughly A-shaped layer of sedimentary rock that is formed by compressive tectonic forces. They're quite particular in the conditions in which they form. Squeeze the land too little, and you don't get anticlines. Squeeze the land too much, and you break them, or even worse, 
regionally metamorphose them. It turns out that the tectonic regime in the area is perfect for the formation of anticlines in the Los Angeles basin, and luckily for us, the anticlines that formed here are not porous at all and do a great job acting as reservoirs for oil and natural gas. Exhibit A of what happens to oil and natural gas without anticlines is the La Brea tar pits. Oil and natural gas wants to escape up and out of the earth, as it is light and buoyant, but anticlines are so important to the extraction and deposition of hydrocarbons because they allow them to pool and inhibit escape. At the La Brea Tar Pits, an active fault by the name of the San Vicente Fault cuts an oil-rich sedimentary layer from the Salt Lake oil field, allowing the oil to flow up the fault and pool at the surface of the earth, releasing natural gas such as methane as it does so. As the oil surfaces, the petroleum biodegrades and or evaporates, transforming the crude oil into asphalt, rendering it useless for human extraction and dangerous for curious Ice Age creatures. Despite their extractive impotence, the La Brea tar pits are an absolute geologic wonder that have facilitated the necessary conditions to contribute a priceless amount of knowledge to the sciences, especially in biology and geology. I highly recommend visiting them if you haven't already. Their museum is awesome and the amount and quality of Ice Age fossils extracted from the tar pits is truly astounding. The Los Angeles Basin is insanely well endowed in oil and natural gas, as it contains over 40 active oil fields with 4,000 currently operating oil wells. Oil was first discovered here in 1892, and Los Angeles has been pumping it out since then, producing as much as over a billion gallons of oil per year during the 1970s. In 1977 alone, Los Angeles County produced 96 million barrels, or 4.03 billion gallons of oil, a staggering amount of black gold. In total, Los Angeles' various oil fields have produced over 9 billion barrels, or 378 billion gallons of oil, since production began in the 1890s. In fact, one of the main reasons why Los Angeles is the metropolis that it is today is because of oil. The rich oil wells in the area brought millions of people seeking economic opportunity to the city. In the 1920s alone, the population of Los Angeles more than doubled from just under 600,000 to over 1.2 million people because of the oil boom. Moreover, the oil boom also brought other manufacturing jobs and industries to LA, which in turn brought even more folks to the area in search of economic opportunities. Los Angeles itself produced over 25% of the entire world's oil in the 1920s, an absolutely mind-boggling stat. In 2024, Los Angeles County produced 622,000 barrels of oil, a far lower number than those of the late 1970s. This is largely due to the vast majority of the area's oil wells drying up, but the greater shift to renewable energy is also a factor in the decline of oil production. One specific area of Los Angeles where oil is still being actively extracted is the Baldwin Hills, just east of Santa Monica and south of Hollywood. The Baldwin Hills are a textbook example of an anticlinal dome, hence their productivity in oil. Historically speaking, Los Angeles has been one of the world's leading producers in oil and natural gas, thanks to the geology that we just learned about. The city largely owes its existence, as well as its air pollution, to the oil industry, and if there was no oil here, it's likely that Los Angeles would not be nearly as big as it is today. Please consider clicking on this video if you would like to learn more about the geology of Los Angeles in general. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and commenting on it, as well as subscribing to my channel, as it really helps me to get more content like this out to y'all. Thanks for watching, and as always, PEACE! Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Solomon's Outdoor Adventures. If you enjoy content like this, please like the video and subscribe to the channel, and check out some of our other adventures right here. As always guys, thanks again and peace!